Katie? No, that, that's, leave, her, leave her up there. Oh, that's, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, is the opportunity to play in games like this these kind of marquee matches for the reason why you wanted to come to Alabama? Yeah, definitely. Um, just the opportunity, like you said, to play in games like this, the biggest games um, of the season, one of the biggest of the season, definitely the biggest of the week to us. Um, that's why you came here. You want to be in these big games, but against the best teams and have the opportunity to prove yourself on why you're here. So, yeah, definitely one of the reasons why I came to Alabama. All right with Charlie? Just after getting a chance to review the film, how do you think the offensive line played on Saturday? Uh, I think we did good. I think it was a great start. I think there's a lot of areas to improve in, though. Uh, be more consistent, pad level, uh, finishing block, and straining. But yeah, I definitely think it's a good start. Um, obviously, like I said, there's things we can do to be better. On the left with Nick Alvarez. I got a two part for you. One, I saw that you tweeted out one of your goals for the team of the season on December 31st last year. Were you intentionally waiting for your team to drop that? No. Um, it's just been on my mind, honestly, for the longest going into, or really just halfway through the season. And just seeing how I matched up with other people in my position and seeing the competition out there, I knew that um, I needed to take more advantage of the opportunity that I have right now. Not saying that I did previously, but uh, just make sure every chance I get to showcase why I'm the best, just make sure I do it every single play. So mm -hmm. just kind of let it be known that that's the standard of what I am. What do you think allowed you to develop that mindset, kind of being goal oriented? Honestly, just that's always really who I've been um, from since I was little. <coughs> Anything that I do that I have a passion for, I always want to be the best at. And that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to be to uh, play against a higher level of competition and being in an environment that's going to push me to my limit every day. That's another reason why I come to Alabama, to be in that same environment at the college level and go against guys like Will Anderson, Dallas Turner, mm -hmm. Bradwell, so on and so forth. In the back, Mike? Penalties were obviously an issue last year, you know, against Texas. Just what went into having fewer penalties in this uh, this past game, the opener, um, some the pre snap penalties especially. Uh, just being disciplined, understanding the game plan, uh, being more intricate in how you prepare for every single uh, game, every single play. You want to understand that every single play has details within it that a yard or two off can be the difference in a play being successful or not, and the penalties kind of put you behind the track and the scheme might be a little off now because instead of it being second and seven or second and six, it'll be second and 13 or 14, whatever it might be, um, depending on the penalty. But yeah, I know I was one of the guys um, on the team who had a lot of penalties. Now my goal is just to be disciplined um, and just be locked in on every single play. Up front with Nick Kelly. You had a block in the first quarter. Uh, we watched a guy like 15 yards. <laughs> the sideline kind of thing. First off, how did that feel? And second off, what was kind of mindset behind that block? Uh, just to finish and dominate. Uh, it was the first game, so obviously um, everybody was going to be a little bit fatigued because we haven't had a game in obviously so long because it was the off season. But um, just to showcase that our goal is to dominate as a unit and our goal is to be the best out on the field at all times. So just plays like that, just showing that no matter what game is the first one or whatever it might be, fourth quarter or overtime, whatever it is, that we're going to dominate every single play. Stay up front, Kenji. Two-part question. First, yourself, um, stepping into a role as a, as a veteran, how have you seen yourself improve in terms of things off of you know the field, preparing, watching film, knowing how to, to watch film and implementing that into your game? Yeah, um, as far as preparation goes, understanding that there's guys looking up to you and there's guys who may not acknowledge you verbally, but um, acknowledge your game and how you go about it. So um, even if I may, may be able to get away with doing something the wrong way or with the wrong technique, someone else, especially a younger guy, might be looking up to you and saying, okay, if he can do it, I can do it. And um, you never want to kind of put that mentality um, into the team. You kind of want to do things the right way, do it how they're supposed to be done, and just create a good environment for everybody so we can all succeed. Yeah. The second part of that is how have you tried to instill that wisdom into younger guys like, you know, Caden and Tyler Booker, Terrence Ferguson, less experienced guys who are stepping into big roles themselves? Yeah, and I think, um, I really don't think experience kind of has anything that necessarily do with the preparation as much as it might be just the um, age you are. I know guys like Caden coming in obviously have no experience, but guys like um, Terrence Ferguson, Tyler Booker have little or a lot of experience. So um, even though they, they vary in different experiences, they all mature and understanding of what they're supposed to do. So just being that guy 
that they can come to and ask, like, hey, what do you do with this, or how do you get your body prepared for that, whatever the case may be. It's really just all the, really the freshmen, because once after that freshman year hits, everybody is all, all the same, essentially. Stay up front, Tony. How much improvement have you seen from the blocking ability of the tight ends, and how do they really help you guys on those short yardage situations? Uh, they were always great. Uh, just understanding now that they know exactly where the ball is going to hit, and they're just a lot more aggressive now. Um, like I said, they've always been great blockers, and they're always trying to finish. Uh, so just knowing what the success of the play is going to be at, if it's coming behind our blocks or if it's coming behind the B block with um, the right guard or right tackle or whatever the case might be, um, how crucial is their block? And um, yeah, they locked in on it. We do it every single day, and they're doing a great job. Cody? Uh, we talked to you in fall camp about your weight gain um, now that you got a game under your belt. How, how did it feel out there? Did you feel stronger? Or what was... Yeah, uh, yeah, I definitely felt stronger for sure. Um, shout out to the strength and conditioning coaches all, all down there just making sure we're in shape and um, we're where we want to be strength-wise. And yeah, I think as the season goes on, and I know for a fact, like just having the strength that I built up over the off season is going to come in hand as games and games go by. A friend with Austin. Yeah, the first touchdown, obviously, the ball goes through Jalen's legs, and he ends up running a bleep around your side on the right. Um, how do you adjust on a play like that when it kind of it turns into a free-for-all, and uh, how fast did he run past you on that play? Uh, so I think that play, I think we ended up checking it because I think they were blitzing, and um, we checked it to um, a full slide to the right, and my guy ended up going inside. So I stayed with him inside, and all I like feel is him coming back outside. So that's when I think Jalen's going outside, and eventually I see him just break loose. So I'm confused as to why he did it. Obviously, I didn't know what happened um, or what he saw. And then after the film, I see um, how it ended up happening. And yeah, just adjusting to that, just understanding um, if a defensive guy is seeing something, he thinks he can get inside or maybe off step the field. Just kind of got to stay with him and understand that if he's going that way, he's probably going that way because that's where the ball is. So just kind of mirroring off of that, like playing deep. Two more, Charlie. When you guys have been watching film, what impresses you most about Texas as a defensive front? Um, they're big, they're stout, they can run, and they're really active with their hands. Um, they're a really great defensive line. They play great together, and they're in a really great team. Last one, Nick. Tyler Booker, I believe, said that he led the team with seven knockdown blocks, and I think he said you had five. Uh, it tr first off, is that true? Second off, what is that competition like between you two? Um, it's a really, I mean, it's competition. Um, whoever has whatever it is, um, is that it's not like neither one of us are gonna be so rude about it. You feel me? If he leads it, um, he leads it. If I lead it, I lead it. But we're always in competition. I, I think it was tied, but I mean, I feel like watching the film <laughs> myself. But uh, yeah, no, it is competition. It makes us great. And um, if we're competing amongst ourselves to make us better and uh, keep doing what we have to do, then obviously guys are either gonna get with us or get left behind, and no one wants to get left behind. So. Yeah, but I think we tied. I think we tied. Thanks, Jason. Thanks. All right.